Hey church, I'm James Dearman uh, with our Heber Springs campus, and we are in a series statewide, a vision series called There Is No Plan B. And you must understand that the, the vision that God gave to Pastor Rick and Michelle, and he's passed it on to all of us now, it has never changed, it never will. It's always been about souls, people that God is trying to reach with his mercy and his grace. And so, just like Paul said, he said, we want to be faithful to the heavenly vision. And that's what we want to be as well as a church. So uh, all of our campuses are consumed with this right now. We've always been that way. But I want to give an update, really like a regional update, what God is doing in this vision, not just in my campus, but also in some of the campuses near us. So I've got some updates from some of the campus pastors. And I want to tell you, first of all, what's going on in Searcy real quickly. Uh, Kevin Atkinson told me that they now have greater community inside of Harding University more than they've ever had, more access, more ministry to students from around the world. And I love that. It's an open door for the gospel. And they have also are increasing in their community outreach. They, they're having a presence now outside in their city, like outside of the weekend services. And uh, their recent Life Group launch, this, this is really good for you if you're part of this campus. Their recent Life Group launch, he told me, was the best they've ever had since 2019. What does that mean? It means they have many groups now for you to be a part of. So please get in one, okay? Uh, let's go down the street a little bit to Cabot and James Bennett. Talk to them a little bit. Um, they've had growth over the last year, numeric growth, yes. But more importantly, spiritual health has grown. And you can see that in their engagement and life groups. And here's a stat he told me. Uh, weekly, like at the average week, 80% of the adults in that campus are involved in biblical community. Now that's tremendous. And uh, they're going to add some space to facilitate that growth, uh, specifically kids areas. And uh, it also involves adding what's called Kid Life Plus, a ministry to families with special needs kids. And, and uh, that's going to help them reach families, uh, families that otherwise wouldn't be in church. And they're also going to, along with that, uh, start their foster care support ministry uh, to counties, the counties of White County and Lone Oak County. Um, what else? BB Campus. Let's talk about that for a second. Because uh, Mark Pagley, he's been leading that effort, a good friend of mine, for uh, a few uh, few months now, really. And they have now implemented strong life groups. They used to not have any. Now they do. And good ones uh, that are around the idea of real change. Uh, marriage groups as well. Uh, other other uh, foundations, life groups, other demographic-based life groups. And uh, they're growing as well. Uh, they're gaining new families all the time. In fact, they're about to open up a second service if they haven't already. And so look forward to that. They're also continuing to work on their uh, growing their outreach to their community uh, for them, specifically through Christmas Mall and through feeding their community, the, the hungry in their community. And it's all about trying to connect those people to Jesus. Uh, right here in Heber, uh, I'll give you a quick update on that, what God's doing. We are focused on one goal, is to get all of our members focused on taking responsibility for their friends, uh, the, the ones that are around them, praying for them, inviting them. You see, we can never stop reaching out to our friends with the life-giving message of Jesus and to see them and to help them become fully devoted to Him. This is exactly how we started our church, and it's what we have to get back to. And it's definitely working, because I was looking at the numbers the other day, and in Heber, uh, we've grown by 21% on weekend attendance compared to last year. Uh, so let's keep that up. And with that, we've intentionally added a lot of life groups. And so we want to give everybody in our church a shot at, at a biblical community. And uh, we're going to continue to grow our community outreach as well. We do a lot of that here in Cleburne County. Um, but we're going to grow. Uh, right now we have 45 regular, a team of 45 volunteers that uh, weekly coordinate all these efforts, uh, feeding people through our food pantry, our, our resource center, helping them that, in that way. Uh, projects in their homes, other things like that. And that doesn't count all the big church-wide projects we do, Christmas mall, thanks serving, coat drives, things like that that we're going to continue. Um, here's what I'm asking you to do. Listen, this mission we're involved in, this vision, it's big, but it's always been about people, as I mentioned earlier. 
It's about eternity. And so I want to tell you this. If, if you're part of our church, look, attending, keep attending, but please don't stop with just attending. No, we need you to be faithful. Get involved. No matter what campus you're involved in, please be there and grow in Christ. Grow together with the people of that church. Serve the people of that church. And then hop in and live on mission with us uh, because we do need you. And also, I'll say this. We believe that many of you are going to help us plant other campuses in new locations. Uh, we're, uh, we're dreaming about that again in Heber, but really around the state. And so may God bless you. That's my prayer, that God would align your heart with his heart for people. And uh, may God let his favor rest clearly on you and your family and that his face would shine on you in Jesus' name. God bless you, church.